The incredible story of Ward Webb. It was nearly 14 years ago that Ward, at the age of four, came in contact with a live power line. His life quickly saved by the fine staff at Children's. His life since then has been a remarkable challenge and a heartwarming journey. Now, only a few weeks ago, Ward became one of America's few double amputees to finish a high school varsity football career. How about letting Ward tell you his story from Mountain Brook High School? My name is Ward Webb and I played my last down of organized football. Since I was four years old, I've had 32 surgeries on um, my legs, my back, my head. Um, I've had skin grafts, I've had tissue expanders, um, pretty much had it all done. If I could do it again, I think I would do it the same. I don't think I would change a single thing about it. When I was injured, I don't remember a whole lot about it. I remember we were walking up this creek and it had this little blue box of rubber snakes. And I don't know what significance that held or whatever, but I just remember that. And I remember um, when I woke up in the hospital, a few weeks before I had this huge splinter in my, my big toe. And I kept telling my mom to get that splinter out that it was hurting really bad. Please get that splinter out. And she just had to sit there and act like she was trying to get something out of my, my toe, but it wasn't there. Uh, and I guess after a while, it just kind of set in on me after she told me and uh, I'd kind of realized what was going on that it was gonna be a little different. I was upset for a while, but I knew that there was a way to keep going and not to let it hold me back. Um, just to keep doing what a four-year-old kid would do. When I got my first set of legs, that prosthetist in there was saying, you'll never ride a bike, you'll never run, you'll never walk again, walk correctly again. Um, and I don't remember a whole lot of it, but my mom told me that I put those legs on and just ran out. I first started playing football in third grade. Um, my coach actually called my mom and uh, told her something along the lines of, uh, I was kicking my leg off in practice uh, or turning it around or something like that. I might have kicked a leg off a few times, freaked the other team out, and the kids would go running off, uh, running off to their sidelines, just squealing. There were a few times in practice when, when uh, we'd be doing our drills or whatever and we'd be doing team stuff like offense versus defense and uh, a leg would fall off or get caught up under somebody and it would turn around and people wouldn't really know what to do but they'd all kind of stand there and say uh oh but then I would just get my leg, bring it over here, let's go. Uh, when I first came to Coach Yeager and asked if I could play football uh, I knew that he had like heard of me before. He wouldn't let me slack off or anything. Uh, he was always telling me to keep going, just like my family, just like the other players, just like all the other coaches. Uh, coach Yeager, just an incredible guy. Like I couldn't ask for a better coach. Back in 10th and 11th grade, I would break 15, 16 sets of legs a year. Um, and then, uh, Biotech actually made this leg for me uh, and it, I never ended up breaking one again. As time went on I just kind of got used to it and all my friends did and everyone up here at the high school did, my coaches, my parents, my siblings, everybody just kind of got used to it and uh, I guess I'm the kid with camouflage legs walking around. I had this kid from Briarwood, he was a running back and this was back when I was playing JV. Uh, he told me that he was scared to hit me or whatever when we first started playing, but then I ended up just destroying this kid. And he was like, from then on, I knew that you weren't just like some kid that's just out there. People always ask me like, if, if it's different for you to play sports, football, basketball, whatever I play. And it's just kind of one of those things where like, somebody will put on their cleats or their basketball shoes or something like that and they'll just go. And that's kind of the attitude I took towards it just to put on my legs and just go. 
Me being injured, I think overall, it's just kind of taught me not to quit. And uh, if I was like, something happened or uh, I had a surgery or something just to keep going, uh, eventually I'll get through it. And I guess I have now. There's no point in sitting around and telling yourself that you can't do something because if I'm here and I played football since I was third grade, I played soccer, I played basketball, I feel like anybody can get up and go play a sport or do something that they want to do uh, and they can do it well. And I'm not going to sit here and tell you that I'm the most incredible football player that there is because I'm not by any means, but uh, I just, I don't know, I just keep going. He's the coolest kid. Wow. My son is his age, and you know, th those, that video of him in the orange outfit was like mm -hmm. 70 years ago. He's just a little fifth yeah. grader. And then I went to visit him a couple weeks ago to do the story. It's like, wow, Ward, you know. He's he, all grown he, up. He's <laughs> huge, but he, he's just been accepted to the University of Alabama. Football career over. He says he looks forward to relaxing a little bit and going over to T-Town to be a normal student. How about that? Yeah, but very inspiring, though. I mean, the way I he, mean, like he said, you just keep going. Well, with the skin grafts and everything he went through, uh, yeah, he's a... Uh, He's a, he's a normal kid, and uh, boy, uh, hats off, Ward. He's a special Seriously. dude. Seriously.